Here's a summary of the key concepts that came out of this module. The reaction extent. That is a single variable that through stoichiometry can be used to indicate the change in the number of moles of all the compounds in a balanced chemical reaction. The free energy of reaction is defined as the change in free energy for a reaction extent change of one mole. The standard state free energy of reaction is the change in free energy for taking one mole, that is reaction extent, of unmixed, which is to say pure reactants, into unmixed pure products. And the Gibbs free energy itself then provides a means to evaluate the position of equilibrium for chemical reactions. If the free energy of reaction is positive, the reaction will proceed towards reactants. If the free energy of reaction is negative, the reaction proceeds towards products, and these reactions proceed until the free energy of reaction is predicted to be zero, and that is equilibrium. So the Gibbs free energy lets you understand how a chemical system responds when displaced from equilibrium. So for instance, changes in pressure or in temperature lead the system to reestablish equilibrium, and those responses are summarized in what's known as Le Chatelier's principle. The equilibrium constant itself is the reaction quotient when the system is at equilibrium. So that remember, the reaction quotient is the concentrations or pressures or activities, whatever unit you're working with, of the products divided by those of the reactants raised to their respective stoichiometry coefficient powers but measured at equilibrium. And so this is a specific example using a pressure equilibrium constant for this specific chemical reaction. And to have meaning, you must have a balanced equation associated with every equilibrium constant. There's a key relationship between the standard state free energy of reaction and the equilibrium constant, and that's given in whatever units are appropriate. So in this equation, I've just used a subscript I. So it could be pressure, could be concentration, could be activity, and the little superscript zero here is to remind you that the standard state is expressed in those units of pressure, concentration, or activity. But the simple expression is that the free energy of reaction is equal to minus RT log the equilibrium constant. And last of all, the exciting part, if you're a theoretician, that the equilibrium constant can actually be obtained directly from the partition functions, which in principle can be derived from first principles even, of all compounds in a reacting system. Okay, that is it for module 12. Next, if you are at the University of Minnesota, will be an exam, very exciting. Uh, otherwise, we will then go on to electrochemistry.